everyone, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, thanks for joining me for this video. I know it's been quite a while since me and Frank put out a video uh, for any type of airplane build or anything like that. Uh, but the New Year's uh, pretty much started up and we're already into February. So I'm finally starting to get back into things and uh, getting ready for uh, doing some spring builds. And uh, hopefully continue on and make a lot more builds this year. Um, a little while back I did show a concept that I had an idea for. Um, it was based off of the Lockheed MPUAV or Coromon, I think it was called, something like that, or that was the nickname. Um, but basically it was a concept that Lockheed was working on to make a UAV that would launch out of a submarine, um, out of the missile tubes from old submarines, something like that. Um, I really liked the way the design was, it was you know, pretty unique, something sort of like this one. Uh, let's see, I'll put a picture over here somewhere so you guys can see what the uh, Lockheed concept was. Um, but basically that's kind of the design I wanted to work towards, it's not going to be you know, totally accurate to what they had. But uh, I wanted, wanted to make it, you know, somewhat similar to that. So anyway, this was the original little uh, concept plane that I made probably about a year ago. Um, so I continued on with that in AutoCAD, and um, I've been working on putting together a real plane. So let's take a closer look at that. All right, everyone, here's the design that I've come up with so far. Uh, basically, I threw it together pretty quick um, and just put some uh, base primer color gray on there. And the white thing underneath, that's just a stand to hold it up. Um, that's one thing about this design I'm not totally sure about with this big kind of a uh, vertical stabilizer or skid on the bottom. I'm not sure how that's going to hold up when coming in for a landing. Um, I did just use foam board and it's um, covered with strapping tape, the uh, bottom fin. So hopefully that'll make it a little stronger when coming in for a landing. Um, but we'll see how that works when I actually get out to test fly it. Um, one other thing I'm worried about a little bit too is the angles of the front of the plane. Um, see how these big side plates are kind of angled down. I'm not sure how much that's going to affect pushing the nose up. I'm hoping that the angles on the top nose here will help kind of even out that uh, frontal pressure on the plane. Um, and hopefully it'll <laughs> fly okay. But I guess we'll find out when we test fly it. A um, little bit more about the plane. Um, I did put a KFM2 airfoil on it. And to make the front edge, um, basically what I did is I did a double 45 degree bevel but it was on the inside of the wing. Then I just folded it up and it made a nice round edge here. Um, basically, uh, I covered it up with tape um, to make sure it didn't rip um, the foam board. So hopefully it'll be a little stronger. So that's kind of the way it is there. Um, it's got a nice big open port right through the middle of the plane. Eventually, if this does fly good and stable, I'm hoping to put um, probably a 70 millimeter EDF in it and uh, hopefully it'll work without too much torque roll on the plane because the wingspan isn't very large but I think with the way the plane is set up you know with the uh, series dihedral in it and all the weight hanging low hopefully that'll make it nice and stable I did do a couple glide tests with it uh, before I painted it up and the uh, CG or seemed to glide okay it was coming out about two inches forward of where this bend is in the wing so I just measured up two inches and then basically straight across Right now, that's where the uh, CG is going to be. Um, I did put a motor on it right now. Um, I just kind of tore it off one of the other planes that I had. Um, it was off that little mini dragon that I crashed a little while back. So I didn't make a proper motor mount for it. I just threw on the one off the mini dragon. So it doesn't totally fit correctly, but um, this should be good enough for the test flight. And I'm just going to be using a 6x4 uh, prop on the test version for the first flights. I think that'll be easier to uh, kind of get a feel for the plane rather than putting the EDF on right from the start. Um, basically, it has just basic Elevon setup. I still got to put the servos on. Um, I'll probably either put them on the top of the wing or maybe on the bottom side and uh, set that up. Um, so, I still got to work on putting the rest of the electronics in. There's going to be a hatch here. And with the weight of the motor there, I have to get the battery real far forward. So I'm probably going to put it, you know, all the way up to the front. And it'll probably be vertical straight in. And that'll probably get really good cooling right through the nose. So the battery will be right up front. And then I'll mount the ESC and a receiver and other electronics. Probably somewhere back here right under the uh, little cover. Here's a quick view of the overall back of the plane. As you can see, the... Uh, back has a nice big open port all the way through it um, that should let air go in and uh, hopefully right out the back for cooling and again I think this will be a good setup if it flies good to put a EDF uh, motor in there 
It's definitely large enough uh, for putting a 70 millimeter EDF in there. Um, this, the body on this thing is actually pretty big and uh, kind of bulky, I guess. <laughs> Again, if this plane does turn out to fly good, it may be a good plane to set up for um, to an FPV even. You could uh, put a nice camera right in the nose of the plane. You know, it'll fit in there. There's definitely enough room. All right, everyone, just to finish it off, I'll just uh, stick it here on the little rotator uh, thing here so you can get a full 360 view of the way the plane looks. Hopefully get a little better feel for it. Um, I'm definitely open to any of your suggestions, guys. So, if you have some good ideas what you think might work best for this, uh, go ahead and write it down in the comments. Um, again, I'm hoping to get this out and uh, fly it next weekend if the weather permits. So, uh, let's keep your fingers crossed and hope it flies good. If it does, then I'll work on uh, completing some final plans to get everything worked out. Then we'll uh, have it available on our website. Alright everyone, that'll pretty much finish up the video for today. Um, it looks like the plane's come along pretty good. Just got to put the final parts on it, and then we'll take it out to test fly once the weather permits. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, we'll have more on this plane coming up soon. Mm -hmm.